Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given system of equations x y equals to 35, y z equals to 56, and z x equals to 40. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first step we are going to take. Let me go ahead and call this very first equation as equation number one, this second as equation number two, and this third one as equation number three. And now let's go ahead and multiply all these three equations. So let me go ahead and multiply the left hand side first. So I can write x y times y z times z x equals to on the right hand side 35 times 56 times 40. Now let me go ahead and rearrange these uh, variables on the left hand side. I can move this x right at this location and I'm going to put these two z's together. So therefore I can write this one as x times y and this is going to become x y and then I'm going to put down z times z equals to let me just write down 35 and now let's focus on this number 56 we can write this thing as 7 times 8 and this number 40 could be written as 5 times 8 so therefore I can write this thing as 7 times 8 times 5 times 8 and now let's focus on the left hand side so this is we got xy times xy and then this z times z is same as z square equal to on the right hand side we got 35 and times I'm going to multiply these one first 7 times 5 is going to be 35 and then I'm going to multiply 8 times 8 is 64 on the right hand side and now if we look at this equation 1 we know that xy equals to 35 and this xy is 35 as well that means then z square has got to be equal to 64 so therefore we can write uh, z square equals to 64 let's go ahead and undo this square by taking the square root on both side this square and square root is gone so that means z turns out to be this is going to be a positive or a negative 8 and here's our next step we know our z value turns out to be positive or negative 8 so therefore we are going to consider two cases case 1 when z equals to 8 and case 2 when z equals to negative 8 and now let's focus on our case 1 first when z equals to positive 8 and now let's focus on this equation 2 and here I copy down this equation 2 over here and now let's plug it in this z equals to 8 value in this equation so that is going to give us 8y equal to 56 let's divide both sides by 8 to isolate y so that means our y value turns out to be 7 and now let's focus on this equation 1 and here I have copied down equation 1 let's go ahead and plug it in this y equal to 7 value in this equation so that is going to give us 7x equal to 35 so let's go ahead and divide both sides by 7 to isolate x so therefore our x value turns out to be simply 5 so therefore for case 1 our x value turns out to be 5 y value is 7 and z is 8 and now let's go ahead and consider our case 2 when z equals to negative 8 
and now let's focus on our equation 2 and here's our equation 2 let's go ahead and plug it in z equals to negative 8 value in this equation so that is going to give us a negative 8 y equal to 56 let's go ahead and divide both sides by negative 8 so that means our y value is going to be negative 7 and now let's focus on our equation 1 and here I have copied down this equation 1 let's go ahead and plug it in this uh, y equal to negative 7 value in this equation so that is going to give us uh, negative 7 x equals to 35 now let's go ahead and divide by negative 7 on both sides so therefore our x value is going to be equal to negative 5 so therefore our x value turns out to be negative 5 y value is negative 7 and z value is negative 8 for this case 2 and here are our two sets of solutions thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye